What's going on, you guys? This is the Madam Mini One. I'm coming back to you again. I am um, coming to you with a news story from NBCNews.com, and it's basically talking about a Texas mother accused of faking her four-year-old son's medical issues. After doctors reportedly began to suspect the mother was fabricating the symptoms, the boy was removed and foster parents said he appeared healthy. Uh, this article was done by Phil Housing and M. Burke. A Texas woman is facing criminal charges after she allegedly faked her four-year-old son's medical issues, which involved more than 200 visits to the doctors and more than 70 prescriptions. Megan Michelle Gee, age 30, was arrested in Wichita Falls last week after an arrest warrant was obtained by authorities in Tarrant County for a count of felony seriously bodily injury to a child. Wichita, Wichita Falls is around 100 miles northwest of Tarrant County, which includes Fort Worth, but the arrest affidavit filed in the case says the Guy took her son to 227 doctors and hospital visits during his life and he's only four and some of those visits included a hospital in Fort Worth this is the lady right here um, that is being accused it says Megan Gee was arrested in Wichita Falls last week after a warrant was obtained by authorities in Tarrant County um, same thing I just said. Online bond records from Wichita County appear to show that she was booked Wednesday on a charge of injury to a child and was released on $25,000 bail the next day. It's not clear early Tuesday if Gee had an attorney who could speak on her behalf. In one case in March of 2016, Gee told doctors at Fort Worth Hospital that her son would not eat and would become sick after eating and insisted doctors insert a feeding tube. According to the arrest affidavit as obtained by NBC News, doctors at the hospital told investigators they inserted the tube because of the symptoms Gee described and because she told them that her son had prior medical issues. The warrant states that months before the boy got the feeding tube, a different doctor reported being suspicious that Guy was possibly making up symptoms. The doctor at the Fort Worth Hospital said they were unaware a report had been filed. In June of 2017, another report was filed after doctors suspected Guy was falsifying seizure activity in her son. The warrant states the child was then removed from the home and placed with foster family who said he appeared normal and happy. According to the affidavit, the behavior alleged started in 2015 and that Guy's visits to the doctor and hospitals doctors and hospitals results in the boy being prescribed 77 medications. In addition to Guy allegedly falsifying syndromes, um, investigators said she made several posts on Facebook telling her friends and family that her son was sick. In one message, Guy said that her son was having eye problems that were worsening and if eye drops didn't help, he would have to undergo surgery. The affidavit, affidavit state, stated excuse me, that doctors and investigators suspect Guy was suffering from Munchausen syndrome by proxy. 
it is also known as fab fabricatious disorder um, apologies if I said that wrong by proxy and is a mental health condition that can be included when a caregiver makes up symptoms of an illness for a person in his or her care it was unclear who currently has custody of the child and child protective services said it would not comment on the case an email seeking comments from the Tarrant County Sheriff's Department was not immediately returned early Tuesday. Late Tuesday, Texas Department of Family and Protective Services said in an email that it could not release details of the case because DFPS investigations are confidential by law. But the department said that Munchausen by proxy case are very complex but rare and that only a handful are reported to DFPS each year. When they are, caseworkers have access to an array of resources to assist in the investigation. The Department of Family and Protective Services said All right, and uh, those are the two uh, people that wrote the article uh, for this. Um, very disturbing, um, rare, but it is a medical term um, for people that um, exhibit or has been known to have uh, Munchausen by proxy. Um, Basically, it is the thing of sympathy, um, out of grief, out of tragedy, um, sickness for a child, family member, uh, friend, whatever the case is. Every case is different, but basically, they crave the attention that people get, um, especially if uh, a child or a family member dies. Um, you know, there is the grieving process. Um, but their grief is more of, you know, in the way of getting attention for themselves, um, not necessarily for the victim, um, that they are inflicting the illness on. Um, there's been several cases, uh, that I'm aware of that, you know, people have done this and, um, you know. It's a, it's a thing. So, um, please tell me, you guys, what do you think about this? Um, you know, um, if any updates come in regards to the story, I will definitely tell you. Uh, side note, everybody's talking about Michelle Geiger. I am very surprised. Um, not really even going to do a video about it, but I'm not surprised. This is a side note to another story that I did, just to be clear. Um, you know, I mean, they do have the right prevail of justice when they uh, they actually convict the person. Um, I do know that the prosecutor in, the, in that case, you know, called bullshit, which it was. Uh, she wasn't sorry. Um, especially when in court it was revealed that um, the door locks that they actually have when you insert your key a uh, sound will play or a, red a light will flash and you know um, you know it's you know basically telling you hey this is not the door to that key you know <laughs> So, I mean, it's a lot of variables of it. They got through it pretty quickly. Um, I may do a video about the sentencing, but pretty much it is what it is. Make sure you drop down in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Um, as always, I will talk to you guys later. Take care.